Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video, How to Maintain Your Honda EU 7000 IS Generator. In this video, we'll show you how to properly perform basic maintenance steps on your Honda EU 7000 IS Generator so you can continue to enjoy it for many years. This video does not cover all the maintenance required for an EU 7000 IS Generator. As always, refer to the owner's manual regarding the safe and proper operation. Generator exhaust contains carbon monoxide, which is a poison you cannot see or smell. Never use a generator inside a home or garage, even if the doors and windows are open. Only use it outside, far away from windows, doors, and vents. Changing the engine oil is an important step of generator maintenance and should be completed according to the maintenance schedule in the owner's manual. Draining the oil while the engine is still warm but not hot helps the oil to drain quickly and completely. To begin changing the engine oil, verify that the engine is off and that the main switch is in the off position. Using a flat tip screwdriver, open the right side maintenance cover. Locate the oil drain plug and then remove the black rubber seal that is directly underneath it. Place a suitable container underneath the oil drain plug, then remove the oil filler cap. Loosen the oil filler cap and set it aside. Loosen and remove the oil drain plug and allow the oil to drain completely. Discard the sealing washer and replace with a new one. Once the oil is drained, reinstall and tighten the oil drain plug with the new sealing washer. Clean up any spills and properly dispose of the used engine oil according to local laws and regulations. Reinstall the black rubber seal underneath the oil drain plug. With the generator on a flat level surface, place a funnel into the oil filler neck and fill with engine oil to the upper limit of the oil filler neck as shown. Use a high quality 10W30 engine oil with an API service rating of SJ or later. Securely tighten the oil filler cap and wipe up any spills. Close the maintenance cover and relatch using a flat tipped screwdriver. Inspecting and cleaning the engine's air filters properly can prevent poor performance and expensive engine repairs. If you operate your generator in dusty conditions, then servicing the air filters should be done more frequently. To begin, open the left maintenance cover by turning the latch using a flat tip screwdriver. Locate the air cleaner cover and the two air filter cover clips as shown. Lift upward to release both clips and remove the cover. The air cleaner consists of an outer foam air filter, filter guide, as well as a paper element to further prevent dirt and debris from entering the engine. Inspect the paper air filter and replace if dirty. Do not attempt to clean it. Clean the foam air filter in warm soapy water. Rinse with water, squeeze gently, and allow to air dry completely before reinstallation. Once dried, place the foam air filter in a resealable bag with a small amount of engine oil to distribute the oil throughout the filter. Remove the filter and pat dry to remove the excess oil. Any excess oil in the air filter can cause the engine to smoke. Reinstall both filters in the reverse order of removal, confirming that the lower air filter cover tabs are properly aligned and that the cover clips are secured. Close the left maintenance cover and relatch using a flat tip screwdriver. Spark plug inspection and replacement are required at set intervals to keep the engine running properly. Allow the engine to cool before servicing the spark plug. To access the spark plug, open the left maintenance cover using a flat tip screwdriver. Locate the spark plug inspection cover and loosen, then remove the cover as shown. Disconnect the spark plug cap by pulling upward away from the engine and push to the side, cleaning any dirt or debris from around the spark plug cap area. Using a spark plug wrench or a 13 16 inch socket, loosen and remove the spark plug. Closely inspect the plug electrodes and sealing washer. Replace the spark plug if the electrodes are worn, damaged, or fouled, or the sealing washer is damaged or missing. Measure the electrode gap using a commercially available gap gauge. The spark plug gap should be between 0.7 and 0.8 millimeters. Adjust the gap if necessary. 
Install the spark plug by hand and thread until it stops. Once seated, use a torque wrench to tighten the spark plug to 13.3 pound-feet. Reinstall the spark plug cap followed by the spark plug maintenance cover. Close the left maintenance cover and relatch using a flat tip screwdriver. The spark arrestor must be inspected and cleaned every 100 hours to keep the generator functioning properly. Verify that the engine is cooled before servicing the spark arrestor. Locate the exhaust tailpipe on the rear of the generator. Remove both of the Phillip head screws that secure the tailpipe to the generator. Remove the tailpipe and spark arrestor screens. Use a brush to remove the carbon deposits from the spark arrestor screen. Replace the spark arrestor screen if it's damaged. Reinstall the spark arrestor screen followed by the tailpipe. Securely fasten the tailpipe screws. For any additional information regarding the maintenance of your EU7000IS, refer to your owner's manual or contact your Honda Power Equipment dealer.